oh my god guys take a look at this this right here is why i love cruising these views are incredible you can't get them anywhere else <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at Port Canaveral, which can only mean one thing. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back setting sail once again on Disney Cruise Line. Ladies and gentlemen, it feels so good to be back here at Port Canaveral getting ready to start another Disney Cruise Line vacation. I am very excited to get this new Disney Cruise Line vlog series started because this is a run Disney cruise. We are setting sail on the Disney Wish for the Castaway Key 5K Challenge. So not only did we take part in a run Disney race over Marathon Weekend at Walt Disney World, but we're hopping on board the Disney Wish to continue the Disney races on Castaway Key for their Castaway Challenge. This ship is going to be full of runners. It's gonna be a very unique cruise. I've never been on a cruise like this before where it's more run Disney based. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. Let's not waste any more time guys, let's head on down stairs and get on board the ship. I should also mention that I am here with Coda's entire family. This is their first time ever on a Disney cruise ship, so I'm excited to see their reactions. Oh yeah, first time ever on a cruise oh, in yeah. general. So, <laughs> this is gonna be very interesting, guys. I hope you're ready. Something I also wanna mention is that it was $90 and what, 95 cents or something like that? It was $90 in change to park for a four-night cruise. Just be aware of that. This is most definitely an instance where being Platinum Castaway Club comes in clutch. It is almost exactly six months after we first sailed on the Disney Wish and we are still in the inaugural season. That's really cool to see. I wonder how long it goes for. Probably a whole year. I gotta say, the cruise terminal is just about as busy, if not a little bit more busy, than when we were here a few months ago boarding the Fantasy. Goodness me. And yep, that confirms it. Captain Mickey reports his ship is full. No upgrades are available. We are 100% at capacity. Disney Cruise Line would like to invite all guests in boarding group one to please proceed to the boarding area. Please be prepared to present a boarding pass for each member of your party. All right, babe, so what restaurant do you think we're gonna be at tonight? What's our first restaurant gonna be in our rotation? Uh, gut feeling, 1923. Okay. I want Arendelle because I want to be my Okay, she wants Arendelle. I think it's gonna be 1923, so. Do you wanna to connect to the Wi-Fi and see? Oh, we can do that? Yeah. You can okay. connect to the Wi-Fi on the ship from the terminal and you can go ahead and take a look at what your rotation is. But let's see. So we just got logged into the Disney Cruise Line app. We connected to the ship's Wi-Fi and take a look at this guys. We're in Assembly Station E. That's new. That little bar there showing your Assembly Station is new. And we have our Assembly Drill. It's at 350. That's very interesting. I've never seen it that early, but hey, 350, 25 minutes and take a look at this. Uncharted Adventure is finally up and running on our first sailing on the Disney Wish. This was not ready, and now it is. So we're definitely going to be showing this off on this voyage. We are back on the Wish, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Take a look at that. We have Belle up there in her beautiful gown, and we are back on the Wish. Oh my gosh. This is wild. As happy as I am to be back on board the ship, I do have a mission. I need to make my way to Luna because at one o'clock they open up for adult dining reservations. We need to get Palo Brunch. I want Palo Brunch. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make our way over there. And it looks like I am the first one here. Current time is 12.20, so I have about 40 minutes to wait. And you can see right over here at 1 p.m. dining reservation changes. All right, you guys already know what time it is. We need to go ahead and connect to that internet. We're gonna go ahead and learn more, open the browser, gonna pull up our onboarding cafe. I already have my login all set up. And here are your different options. We're gonna go ahead and do the premium surf. For the voyage, $120. For just one device, Coda and I can flip flop in between devices. And we're gonna go ahead and buy that purchase. And just like that, we are connected. So the last time we were here, they only opened up from one side. If you're looking at the screen or stage, it was this side over here on the right. Now they open up from both sides. So if there's lines on both sides, 
you can stand in either line. And I will say, things seem to be a lot more better organized than they were when we first sailed on the Wish. It was pretty chaotic the first time. Now they're pulling from both sides. They're doing one party from over there, one party from over here, one party from over there, one party from over here. So it's also worth noting that it's not one o'clock yet, it's 12.40. They opened the doors at 12.40 and they started organizing people into little groups based off of what you're looking for, whether it be main dining room, Enchante, or Paolo. So just be aware of that. Get here right around 12.30, 12.40ish, and that's when they'll start organizing. So, unfortunately, we did not have any luck with Paolo. We did get on a wait list, though, so fingers crossed for that. I'll let you guys know if anything happens, but now we're on deck 11. We're going to head on outside, and I'm going to have some barbecue. I have been waiting for this barbecue. I love the brisket. Can I get some brisket, some sausage, some pulled pork, and some ribs, please? Can I also have some mac and cheese, please? And some potato salad. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That looks bomb. That looks so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so the barbecue, absolutely amazing. Hands down, the best way to start a cruise on the Disney Wish. Now, some advice for you guys. A little bit of a pro tip. If you're coming on board the Disney Wish, the very first you know, couple hours are gonna be very chaotic. Everyone in your party is gonna want food. People are probably gonna to wanna to go upstairs to the Festival of Foods, which, to be fair, a lot less chaotic than when we were on the Wish for the very first time. The table space out there is pretty limited, but a lot of people are gonna to wanna to come to the buffet for food. The buffet is one place that you should avoid at all costs on your very first day. Either wait to get to your room and order room service, go to the Festival of Foods, but just be aware, finding table space is gonna be hard out there, or go to the Welcome Aboard lunch at Worlds of Marvel. In my opinion, that is the single best thing that you can do, because up here, at Marceline Market, it's very chaotic. Everyone has their bags, everyone's got sensory overload, especially the kids. There's a lot of things to see and do. It's just very crowded in here, and I'm seeing people get frustrated. You don't want to start your cruise getting frustrated. So if you guys are a large family, do yourself a favor and just sit down at Worlds of Marvel, have a nice sit down lunch where you can relax and not have you know people pushing by you, trying to get food and everything, and you should have a great start to your cruise. Ooh yeah, first of many. All right, we have made it to our room. Babe, what's different about this one? It's inside. We have an inside cabin. This is our first time staying in an inside cabin. Over there, they have veranda rooms. We're in this little hallway that connects both sides of the ship. Room 11021. There we go. We have our room keys. Coda, go ahead. Let us in. All righty. Wow. Not as small as I was expecting it to be. I mean, it is small, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. For two people, I think this is perfect. Oh, yeah. For sure. Anything more? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned how much I love the lighting that the mirror gives off? This is like studio quality lighting. I love it. Now that we're kind of settled into the room, let's go ahead and give you a quick room tour. And I really do mean quick because this room is tiny. So, as soon as you walk in, we have our connecting door over here. So, if we were here with someone else that was in the room next door, we could open this up and they would be able to walk in and out. We have our sofa over here that does convert into a bed. We have our little table over here. And here is our one and only bathroom. Typically with Disney Cruise Line, you're used to having a split bathroom, but in inside rooms, this is different. Everything is now in one. You have your toilet over here, your shower over here, and a sink. Also, H2O products still on board Disney Cruise Line. Not sure when they're gonna go, but we're gonna enjoy it while we can. Moving away from the bathroom, we have our closets over here. Nothing spectacular, nothing major. We have our robes, a place to hang your stuff. We have our life jackets over here, some shelves, your safe, and a laundry bag. We have our desk space over here, definitely the smallest desk I have ever had. And we have our Castaway Club gifts here as well. We have my Platinum lanyard. We don't have a gold lanyard for Coda, so we gotta see if we can get that remedied. We have our storage spaces over here for, I don't really know what you're gonna put there. <laughs> we have a little chair down here, and inside this drawer, we have our breakfast room service cards. We have our envelopes, we have a pen, and our postcards. And I have to assume that this is our little mini fridge. Yep, there it is. I pulled that out a little too hard. I'm gonna slide that back. And last but not least, over here on the opposite end of the room, we have our TV, which is up against this wall, not directly in front of the bed. And 
our queen size bed with our two nightstands over here. I turned the light on over there and couldn't, you know, turn the light on over there because look at how much space that is. I am not fitting over there. <laughs> so this will be my side of the bed. But yeah, overall, this room, it's not bad. For two people, it is not bad. It's our first time in an inside room and I'm excited. And welcome aboard to all run Disney cruisers. Woohoo! have you on board this very special cruise to the Bahamas. So Coda just got back to the room while I was doing the room tour and she already had her lanyard. It was here. It was. I just I just didn't see her swipe it. So yay. Go, I'm gold. And then I walked out. Nope, I did not hear that at all. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, same situation as last time. Our Castaway Club gifts are exactly the same as when we were last on The Wish. We have our little passport holder. I'm still assuming that this is. We have our water bottle speaker as a Platinum Castaway Club member and our inaugural sailings tote. All right guys, you already know what time it is. It's time to decorate our room door while we're doing this. Now seems as good a time as any to let you know about today's video sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank the fantastic sponsor of today's video, Magical Day Creations. Now I'm sure you guys have noticed those beautiful ears that Coda has been wearing throughout the entire vlog. Well, she got them at MagicalDayCreations.com. Magical Day Creations is the one-stop shop for anyone looking to customize their Disney World or Disney Cruise Line vacation. The holidays may be over, but it's never too late to pick up a gift for you or a family member who's about to embark on a Disney Cruise Line or a Disney World vacation. From custom 3D printed mini ears to custom Disney cruise line door magnets magical day creations is sure to have the perfect product for you when you guys are done shopping make sure to use code tpx10 at checkout for 10 percent off your entire purchase again be sure to use code tpx10 at checkout for 10 percent off your entire order get the perfect gift for any disney fan in your family and visit magicaldaycreations.com thank you so much to magicaldaycreations.com for sponsoring today's video now let's get back to the cruise vlog huge thank you to magical day creations for creating magnets for not only our door but also coda's family's door as well and welcome to the balcony of Coda's parents' room. They got a balcony. We're out here. We're going to be coming out here every once in a while throughout our trip just to give you guys our famous sea shots because I love getting those sea shots for you guys for the B-roll. This is getting confusing with B and C. <laughs> but anyways, take a look at this over here. The bridge is right here. So we're on deck 11 forward. The bridge is right there. You can see the guy hanging off, power washing the bridge windows. But holy cow. This is awesome. <gasps> Coda is absolutely losing her mind over here over a sea turtle. It's not very often that we see sea turtles right up here against the you know water's edge, but this is so nice. Uh, yes. Uh, so relaxing. I am so ready for this cruise to start. Holy cow. So I know some of you guys are probably asking, Adrian, you're a big guy. How does an inside room, you know, work with a guy of size? Well, later on in this cruise, I'm gonna be doing a video showing how fat friendly an inside stateroom is. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you wanna watch that video. If there's one thing I did not miss about the Wish is the size of the elevators. They're so small. Emergency drill of all guests will take place today prior to sailing. Please take time to view the safety video that is now showing on your stateroom television sets. This video will demonstrate the proper method for- We're gonna start lining everyone up around the wall over on this side. Please stand in a straight line according to your staterooms. Easier with tallest in the back and shortest in the front. Because have straight lines coming towards us. And for the check-in, all we require is one key card per stateroom. Yeah, once again, we are back to in-person mustard drills. Unfortunately, no more doing it on the app. This is Coda's first time doing an in-person mustard drill on Disney. So, yeah. At least we're on the shady side of the ship. We could be unfortunate and, you know, be on the opposite side. So, I'll take it. Now, what you heard before was the general alarm. The seven short blasts followed by one long blast. If you want to hear this outside of the drill, you need to make your way to your staterooms immediately. And be sure to collect everyone's night jackets, warm clothing, comfortable shoes, essential medications, and water. In the unlikely event that it is necessary to abandon ship, the order will be given verbally by the captain over the PA system from the bridge. 
and your lifeboat will already be prepared for boarding on deck four. And so begins the rush to the stairs and or elevators. A little bit of a pro tip for you guys, if you do need to use the elevator and you're on one of the lower decks, get in one of the elevators that are going down. Go down to go up. It's gonna be the easiest way to do it. I know it's not the most ideal way to do it, but if you have to use the elevator, it's the best way.
So long, Florida. Hello, vacation. Take a look at that sunset over there. Oh my god. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Made our way down to deck three to get ready for dinner, but take a look at this. Preludes is open as they get ready for their first show of the evening. Let's take a look at the popcorn buckets that they have on offer. Hello, Hello how are you? Hey, how are you? Doing well. I'm just taking a look around. We still have our reindeer popcorn buckets. We have our souvenir cups from the very merry time cruises. You can still pick that up. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thank you very much. And we have our rainbow popcorn buckets. These are actually from Disneyland. That's really cool to see. Not Walt Disney World, which is right down the road. We have a few more of the rainbow popcorn buckets. We even have a Darth Vader Stein over here for your drinks. That's really interesting. And we have a few more of the generic Disney Parks popcorn buckets over here as well. Gosh, the bayou is so gorgeous. I just wish it was a bit more secluded and not like right in the middle of two walkways. If it were more secluded in its own venue, be perfect. Here's a quick look at the beautiful atrium of the Disney Wish this evening. You can see Captain Minnie is up there greeting guests. One deck below, you have Goofy. Absolutely gorgeous evening here. Not super crowded either. Dinner is just about to start. We're heading on over to 1923. And this time, we are on the Walt Disney side. So make sure you pay attention to your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. It'll tell you exactly where you're gonna go. 1923, Walt Disney side, and your table number. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Hello. So that's 202? Yep. Here you go. Thank you very much. So this is very interesting. We're on the Walt Disney side. Last time we were on the Roy side. We had breakfast. Oh no, we had lunch here. We had lunch here on the Walt Disney side. So it's not our first time, but I'm excited. So I know it's a thing on this channel to go through the menu one specific item at a time. However, Nothing on the menu changed at 1923, at least between the last sailing and now. So if you want a closer look at the menu, then go ahead and look up our last Embarkation Day video on the Disney Wish where we visited 1923 on the first night. We go through the menu in great detail over there. Started things off over here with an appetizer. We have the Hyperion Four Cheese Tricolor Tortelloni. Next up, we have the Pulled Guinea Hen Corn Chowder with Yukon Gold Potatoes, Cilantro, and Smoked Bacon. All right, our entrees have arrived. First up, we have the 1920. 23 peppered filet mignon and over here we have a tortiglione pasta with prosecco cream pancetta shallots uh cremony mushrooms and lemon thyme okay so we just ordered desserts now on our last sailing on the wish i got the churros and they weren't exactly the best right they were a little stale you can tell that they were kind of sitting out for a little while they just weren't the freshest so i ordered them again we're gonna give them another shot hopefully they're good this time. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. You know, in case you guys are curious, Nugget is here too, but you know, there's also another one in the family. <laughs> Her dad helps Coda's obsession. <laughs> He's just as bad as she is when it comes to Nugget. <laughs> Dessert has arrived. We have the churros and the 1923 hot fudge sundae. Well, unfortunately, just like before, the churros are stale. <laughs> you can tell they've been sitting out for a while. They weren't freshly made. I mean, they have to mass produce these, you know, for for the entire dining room. So it does make sense. However, I'll give them credit that they do taste better than they did before. So that is a plus. What I've been doing is taking the churro and dipping it in the fudge sundae that I got and doing this number. This is the way to go.
Oh snap, they even have Disney 100th anniversary merchandise in here. What? I had no idea. That is so cool. They got the spirit jersey. They have the Dooney and Burks too. Some t-shirts. That's awesome. And here is a look at some of the 2023 merchandise for Disney Cruise Line. I really like this design. Let's see what's on the back. Is there anything on the back? There is absolutely nothing on the back. We have a sweater down here, 2023. And take a look at this design. I love this. The ocean is calling 2023 and I must go. That is so nice. They have a long sleeve over here, 2023 and a polo. Here's a look at the 2023 hat. This is really nice. What I'm really trying to focus on right now is trying to find new items that are here. And so far, it's only the 100th anniversary stuff and the 2023 stuff. So I'll keep looking around and I'll let you know. So the gift shop is just a wee bit of a cluster right now. And just based off of first glance, I didn't see anything else that was new. Whatever was new, I made sure to show you guys. I'll make sure to go into the gift shop tomorrow sometime in the middle of the day when it's less crowded just to double check anything. But if you guys want a look at some of the Wish merchandise, again, I have other Wish videos from like the third public sailing of the Wish when it first started and there's a lot of the same merchandise there. All right, we made it down to deck three to the Walt Disney Theater. Now we wait for the doors to open so we can see, seize the adventure. All right, we just sat down in the Walt Disney Theater. This is something that's new. They're actually using that for projections. That's not something that we saw on our first cruise. They just kind of had it blank. So it's very interesting to see. But we got in nice and early and we are down in front. Thank you and enjoy the show. What? Okay, so we just got done with Seize the Adventure, and I don't know about you, but I enjoyed that show a heck of a lot more the second time oh, yeah. around. Like, the cast, you can tell, they definitely know what they're doing now. They're very comfortable. You know, when we were on The Wish the last time, it was one of the very first sailings, and they were still trying to, you know, figure things out. And, you know, we didn't really give them enough credit for that, but they did a phenomenal job this time. This was so much fun. That was, a, that was a, such a fun show, but definitely make sure you get there early, especially on these cruises that are 100% at capacity. Get there right at 8 o'clock or a little bit before 8 o'clock to secure those seats because concierge guests get first dibs. They get in 10 minutes before everyone else, so a lot of the good seats are already gone by the time you get in there. But overall, it was still a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that show, and so far, I'm enjoying this cruise a lot more than we did the first time around. I don't know if it's because we're already familiar with the ship, we know what we're doing, we already know what to expect. I think that's what it is. We already know what to expect more. Maybe, yeah. Could be, but I'm really enjoying myself right now, which is really good. I'm so happy that I am. We have made it down to the bayou for some Knows More trivia. And one awesome difference between the last cruise and this one is that in the app, it actually tells you the topic of the Knows More trivia. On the last cruise, you had to actually physically go to the location and ask them what the topic was. And if it was something like sports, something that I know not thing about you know you basically wasted time going there and finding out now you know ahead of time in the app which is amazing so we're getting ready to take part in Disney Parks trivia so fingers crossed we actually know our stuff or what was the first roller coaster type ride in a Disney park the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror how many people disappeared on that fateful night in 1939 of the restaurant where you can dine with the Disney princesses do we have to get the spelling correct? What street at the Disney Hollywood Studios is home to the Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror, and Rock and Roller Coaster? Park in France was Disneyland Paris. True or false? You have a 50% chance of getting this one right. Okay, so we have 19 out of 20. We only got one wrong. I have a feeling we're not going to win, though, because we are surrounded by a lot of pros. So I think there's there's, there's got to be at least one person here that got every single one right, right? I'll let you know. So for the first time ever, we won trivia. Well, we're one of two groups that won because we were one of two who had 19 out of 20. No one got them all right. So we went to a tiebreaker and the question was, what is unique about the Flamingo Islands on Kilimanjaro Safaris? And it was Mickey shaped. It's a hidden Mickey. So we both of us got, the, got it right. So they declared both of us winners. So 
I am super excited for that. Let's go and get our medals. Okay, so I may not have been able to finish a 10K, but you know what? I know my Disney Parks trivia. So I will happily wear this medal around for the rest of the cruise, and ain't nobody gonna tell me otherwise. And I can tell you guys what, this is getting framed, and it's gonna be hung up somewhere in the house. In all my days of Disney cruising, I have never won a trivia. <laughs> Here is a lovely nighttime look at the atrium this evening. Nice purple hue on the chandelier. It's gorgeous in here tonight. Okay, so, Coda, your parents got a crab in their room. Do you think that we're gonna have a crab or yeah. something different? Crab. Crab? All right, yeah. let's see. I mean, crab, you love. Oh, you got a dino! <laughs> we got a dinosaur! He's got eyes! Oh my god. Oh, yeah, they stay go That is adorable. Look at him. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> look, he's, look, he's got a little tail, too. It looks like he's pooping toilet paper. <laughs> well, I'd just like to say that this dinosaur has been named Gertie. Yeah. Oof, after a much needed shower, after a very long day, I am changed into my pajamas. Um, these are more of my going out pajamas. <laughs> uh, we're going to be heading back downstairs to Luna because we saw on the navigator that there is something going on called Club Luna at midnight. So I'm very curious to see what it is and I'm sure you guys are too. So let's go ahead downstairs and check it out. Current time is 11.45 at night. It is very, very quiet here in the hallways. On a positive note though, shouldn't be too difficult to get an elevator. Deck 5, doors in opening. Well, came into Luna and I found the silent dance party. You can see Coda down here with her sisters jamming out. <laughs> the 18 and over silent dance parties are definitely where it's at. My favorite game to play is guess what they're listening to. My personal opinion I think Luna is the best place to hang out on the Disney Wish there's always something going on in here right and Luna was built with introverts in mind because all the action happens on the ground level on deck four because over here on deck five you can passively participate I'm up here completely by myself on either side you can come up here and just observe whatever is happening down there without fear of being called on to participate and i absolutely love that about luna so yeah definitely my favorite place to hang out So it's a little after midnight and they just finished the silent DJ party and I'm not crazy because where is it there it is Club Luna 18 plus in Luna on deck four for one hour and this is you know deck four down here they're picking up after the silent DJ so I don't know if anything else is going to be happening maybe it's a mistake on the itinerary we shall hang out here for just a little bit and see. So, I guess Club Luna was a bust. There's no other guests in here, it's just the crew members that are, you know, tearing down the silent DJ dance party. So, I think that's it. <sighs> so, after a very long and very exciting embarkation day here on the Disney Wish, we're back in the room. We're tired. Coda's about to go shower, and we're gonna go to sleep. It's going, it's actually after one o'clock in the morning, right? It has to be. Yeah, it's almost 1.30. Oh my God, 1.30 in the morning on embarkation day and going on into day two we have a day at sea tomorrow so i'm very excited about that we can sleep in just a little bit and we're going to be spending the day exploring some more of the ship we're going to go ahead and tackle the um the, the mobile game i forget what it's called that's what i just did that's what you just did how was it um my controls i was i had to steer nemo and i steered 
too far and it stopped registering that I was trying to turn him. So you can't Mario Kart it. You have to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it sounds like we're going to have a very interesting day <laughs> tomorrow. Weird. So, um, if you guys are excited to see how that turns out for me as we explore the mobile game, then make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because we have a lot more Disney Cruise Line videos coming your way here in the very near future. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Also, we have met so many of you guys today. There are a lot of you guys on the ship. I have been getting stuck everywhere by you guys saying hello and we love it <laughs> we absolutely love it so thank you guys so much for coming up to us and saying hi to us because it really makes our day it honestly does but anyways guys we're tired we're gonna go to bed I hope you're all having a wonderful day morning afternoon evening and I'll see you guys in the next video